Hi everyone, I am Johnny Man, and welcome back to another random map. This time we're playing a finding map, a find the button map, called Find the Button Christmas Edition. In this one we've got 10 levels to complete, and the only thing is, I guess it says if we die we have to restart, so hopefully that doesn't happen. And actually this is going to be a little bit different than normal, because unfortunately I've already done this map. I recorded everything and was getting ready to edit the video, only to find out that the all the gameplay audio was shut off. So, um, rather than have a kind of a boring, quiet video, I thought, well, I'm going to re-record, but this time uh, we're just going to kind of go through the levels. I'll show you where, what I was thinking and how I kind of solved some of them. Uh, it's the best thing I can do because I still want to get a video out and I want to show off this map. All right, we're in the little starting area. The basic rules are obviously be in adventure mode, try not to die, all that kind of fun stuff. We've got the creator in here in the fireplace. Lockwood for life, and we get to start the maps. All right, level one, Santa's hat. Now this one I could actually probably do, because this one I remember is fairly easy. So we go up on the little cloud parkour, which of course I miss. <laughs> Let's try that again. All right, and then we go over here. Perfect. So we, we want to get up to the clouds, and actually we get on this cloud. And if we look right in there, there's our button. Pretty cool. All right, here's where the craziness begins. So I'm going to have to put this into creative mode for just a moment. This one, the Christmas tree, we've got some crazy Christmas ornament parkour. As you see, we start here and we have to work our way up, up and around. And we all know me and parkour just don't mix. <laughs> so then you've got to go over. You've got to get to here now. I don't remember which way is the best way. I think you go around this way to get to this one, to get in here. So then once you go from here, you can get on this block. And we will just put this back into adventure mode. And once you're around all that crazy parkour and you're here, the button is inside the tree. Okay, Grinch, this one's pretty cool too. So uh, at first uh, I was looking around the outside, obviously not seeing what I wanted to see on the outside. You know, I'm scanning the sides, walls for buttons that might be sticking out, looking for hidden buttons in the grass. No such luck. So we come on the inside and, oh, there's the Christmas tree and there's the Grinch. Hello, Mr. Grinch. I really do hope you are putting presents back. Oh, whoop, whoops. Sorry. Didn't mean to take your jacket. <laughs> so we've got this fireplace and it, I noticed looking in the fireplace, look, you can see a ladder. So there must be a way to get on the inside of the chimney somehow. Uh, originally I thought maybe put some parkour on the outside to get around up here, but not so much. Sure enough, if we come into here, we get into the bedroom. We look underneath the table, we see a switch. We throw that switch. And when you go looking around to see what it did, you actually have to go outside. And we get this ladder to get on the roof. So obviously this is leading us to get on the roof to get in the chimney. But the tricky thing is with this, watch. If you come up the ladder like normal, you're stuck under this piece of roof. And it's enough that you can't go up these stairs. So you have to be, I'm just kind of crouching, you need to be right on the edge of the ladder to kind of... I didn't quite do it here. I just want to get right on the edge of the ladder. Right on the edge of this ladder. And you need to do it uh, so you're not locked into there. And you do a jump. Whoops. So there you go. So if you time your jump just right, you'll get just right on the edge and it gets you out here. So now we can get up. We can go into the chimney down the chimney and as we suspected there's a button down there all right we got jack skeleton so nightmare before christmas hey how you doing jack so again it looks like we've got ourselves a little bit of parkour so you look around and the house does not have anything uh there's kind of a a little false hidden floor here to, and the uh, mistletoe that attacks you. <laughs> um, so yeah, you think there might be a button down there, but there's not. Actually, what you end up doing is some parkour off the snowman to get up here. 
some parkour over here to these guys parkour up the steps which I failed <laughs> okay parkour up these up the ladder you're up into the tree and there's a button inside the tree very very cool okay level five the North Pole so on this level I was suspecting that this might be the f a level with all the snow that they might he might have done the trick of putting scaffolding underneath the snow and so you'd have to crouch down to find that piece of scaffolding and so after looking around and looking around uh, turned out to be that's not the case there's actually I'm just trying to find it now there's a hidden gap there's a little gap where the button is and after looking around a lot this one is actually really really tricky so our starting square is over there if you come to the opposite corner and you look here we've got a very well hidden all right we're in the North Pole level six and we've got ourselves a nice big present which is kind of cool but what we also do have and is we've got more parkour so we could do our little door trick to get up here we need to get up here and we failed that one <laughs> so with this parkour you've got to go from here over here and this is where it gets really tricky so you're on the present you've got to jump over to this this little gift over here onto this bookshelf you've got to do the door parkour trick again to get on top of the door or the little door glitch gets you up here so you can jump onto this one we come around and then they try to get you here let's just whoops let's get on the on this little spot here all right we'll go back into adventure mode so after spending all that time doing that parkour up they come and say jokes on you it's not here all right so you jump from there up onto the bookcase keep on going and sure enough there's the button and oh dang it because we, he tried to trick us <laughs> all right level seven santa and guess what it's more parkour so as i said this is more a parkour map than a find the button map which is unfortunate um just because my love for parkour obviously so what you got to do is you start off by going up this ladder and we can do a little bit of this so we go over here and you end up on this little gift jump over to well normally you would jump over to that let's try that again okay so we are on that little gift jump over to here up this ladder now this is what i couldn't figure out there has to be a way to be right on the edge of this ladder to catch this ladder because from that from here you can get up and get onto this gift and we're gonna have to go to creative mode <laughs> so from this ladder so as I say there must be a way to just kind of be right at the the tip of this ladder which raises you up just a little bit enough to jump up and grab this somehow maybe you have to like kind of jump around and grab it that way but you'll get to this gift over to this ladder then you'll jump from the top of this ladder over here you'll have to do side ladder parkour around the sides here and then around the sides wrap around the corner get to the top of the ladder jump over to grab this ladder and again side ladder parkour over here to this ladder and this is the tricky part so as you're falling as you fall you've got to hit this switch as you fall down <laughs> so we'll come back down here we'll go back to adventure mode and throwing that switch actually sorry on this side opens up a hole in Santa's boots and there's our button crazy and it looks like the labels are off because it says present and last level was actually the present but this is a, gig, a giant present so who knows maybe maybe we're okay um, so guess what we have again folks parkour yes this is a parkour map more than anything so here you've got wrapping whoops I actually did do this this is the f for the first time I, uh, ever I was able to do this wrap around the block ladder ladder parkour I'd never been able to do that before so once you wrap around there you get up to this part and then from there we can jump over here and then you get here and you notice a little drop down here and I actually went down here so let's let's show you what you got so you come down here go down the ladder and what do you end up with nope it's, it's a fake little area you're not supposed to go there it just trolled you 
which is unfortunate because what you need to do is you need to be up on this block because if you'll notice we got an orange piece of carpet there and if you're walking around which I didn't do initially but I did after the fact to try to figure things out underneath that orange carpet is a piece of slime block so you should be able to jump from there Ooh, I didn't do that let's try that again it is doable you just have to have the right angle jump Ooh, so close Hit the slime block, up you go, and then you can get here. So you heard the little slime block bounce. Then this one you got to be careful because you can hit your head on that. So you want to come over to get, ooh, almost. Over on the edge to get the ladder to get up onto this parkour. Then it's just some straight block parkour. Another ladder up. Just walk off and down here. So it takes you takes you down and you're kind of now on the outside of the present trying to figure out okay well where do I got to go so we keep going all the way around the present to the other side there's a ladder going up let's go up and while we're here let's put that back in adventure mode so while we're going up it says oh it's not even up here and then you look around oh sure it is and it's like nope <laughs> but if you Look around the edges. The hole in the wall here is kind of meant to draw your attention because if you take a look, there it is. There's a little landing spot and you get your next one. <laughs> All right, so now we're under Gingerbread House. This one is actually probably the easiest one. Um, you just, you're just you drawn to this ladder, which gets you onto the roof of the Gingerbread House, which looks really cool. I like it. Um... If I'm not mistaken, from here, there's a ladder going down to get into the gingerbread house. We go down, and sure enough, there's a button right there. And we're done. And we're on to level 10, the snowman. All right, this one is another set of crazy parkour. And sure enough, we've got glass parkour, which I obviously cannot do too well. Whoop. Nope, keep missing it. All right. <laughs> so you take the glass parkour up to the side. And then from here, you can go up the sides of these fence ones, wrap around, and then there's a ladder here, which then you can jump over to that ladder, which I did do. I, I was able to do that, and that's as far as I was able to get uh, on the first <laughs> my first tries. From here, you've got to jump over to this ladder. Um, sorry, I haven't craved it or craved there. So yeah, you jump over to this ladder, gets you up here, so you can work your way around, get onto this ladder, and then this gets you down in here. So let's just. So you think, okay, we're making progress. This is good. We're inside. We're finding some stuff. Pretty cool. So we can get up inside, and then through the ice, you can see it says, "It's in the snowman's head." And so there is no way here to get where you need to be get. So you got to go back up here. So we catch this ladder that's just above this fence. Get over here. And now you have some more glass parkour. <laughs> so you manage this piece of glass. Jump over to this piece of glass. Over to this. Once you're on top of the ladder, over to this ladder, up, and then you're able to, you're able to now get inside Snowman's head. And finally, as expected, there is, I have to find the spot. They did the snowman scaffold, or the snow scaffolding trick, where there's a spot right there. Sca snow on top of scaffolding, so you just, you can't really see it. You're, you work your way down and... Sure enough, there's the button. All right, there you go. That finishes up the Find the Button Christmas map with 10 levels. Very well done. I like it. Very cool. Although it is a whole lot more parkour than uh, than I would like in a map. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. If you have, please leave a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and tell your friends. I'd love to have you around. Look forward to doing another random map with you real soon. Bye, everyone.